<clears throat> what? It hurts. I'm allowed to express my pain. <clears throat> I didn't start the fight. It's not my fault. I listened to you and tried my best to let it slide. Even if they were talking about you, I didn't lose my cool. Well, your hand will get better soon. I won't apologize for crushing it out of anger when you were the one telling me to be careful about not adding more time to my sentence. You know how protective I can be. It was pure torture to let them say those things about you. Shut up. It's all your fault. Yeah, well, I'm not a robot. It was too much. I had to do something. At least talk back. I didn't start the fight. Yeah. The guards saw how much effort I put in to restrain myself. So even if we did all end up fighting, I don't think they'll do anything against me. Hell, they should give me a fucking medal for behaving so well. No? You don't think so? That's what I thought. Alright, let me turn. Do my back now. You really have amazing fingers. You never took any massaging classes. Well, you were natural then. <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. I can take it. I'll feel better later. It's going to help me. Continue what you were doing. <clears throat> yeah. We do make a pretty good team. When I was a villain. Before here. Yeah. I worked alone. I... I guess I owe you a story, too. I'm used to working alone. I've always worked alone. Because I could never trust anyone after what happened to me. And with my physique, people were intimidated, scared of me, before I could say or do anything. I'm not like anyone. I didn't... My powers are not. They didn't come naturally like everyone else. I... I don't know if I should tell you this. Alright. That's true. But can you handle this? Okay. Tell me to stop if it's too much. I was born powerless. And they never appeared even while growing up. When I was a teenager, everyone already knew their special abilities. And I was just a freak. Not normal. Since I couldn't do anything special. So I adapted. I did more sports. I developed my body to compensate for the fact that I had no powers. But eventually, some people took an interest in me. It's not easy to hide the fact that you have no powers in a world where everyone does. They wanted to test some products, some theories. I spent two years being their lab rat. I won't tell you everything they did to me. There's no point. And you have some ideas by looking at my back, I think. It was torture. No one should live this. But I know they would never stop. Any people they find that are without power, they'll do the same things to them. So, 
Back to my story. One day, they injected me with one of their formulas. It was like having fire running through every vein of your body at first. I couldn't stop screaming. I don't know how long I did that. Eventually, it felt like needles under my skin. And slowly, my body felt okay again. But it was like everything in my head. Like my brain was mashed. I couldn't think. I couldn't move. I couldn't even scream or talk about it. I was just there. Enduring the pain. I think I passed out from exhaustion at one point, and I never knew if they thought I was dead or if they had the answers they were looking for. But when I woke up, I was in a back alley at night. No one around. I didn't know which city, what date. I was completely lost. I tried to find help but no one believed me. The heroes had more important matters to do. They were busy saving lives that were in immediate danger. I was no one's priority. I had to take care of myself. So, I guess it might be the reason why I became who I am right now. I don't really consider myself a villain. I just enjoy life as much as I can. After what I've been through, it's the least I can do. I know being in prison doesn't fit this definition for you. Actually, I could have been out for a few years now, but I've been picking fights to stay in here. Because I kind of like it in here. I'm at the top because of my body, and without powers, all the other inmates aren't really threatening to me. And I don't really know anything about life outside. And no one was there for me the first time. You caught me only three years after I got out of my hell. And nothing is done here to help you fit in when you get out. That's the truth. When you're sent in here young and get out ten years or more after, what do you know about the world? Nothing, really. The world is changing so fast, you don't really see it when you live in it. Yeah. Maybe... Maybe knowing you'll be there for me. To explain everything for me. It's reassuring. I know you'll be there to guide me, and it's comforting. <clears throat> oh, shut up. I'm human. No, I'm not just a dominant figure. I have emotions, fears, like everyone else. Stop giggling. <laughs> okay, hands off. Back to your corner. I don't care. You shouldn't make fun of me, especially when I was finally opening up a little and showing you a vulnerable side of me. You realize how fucked up that is? Stop apologizing. I don't want to listen to you or anything you have to say. I want you to speak only when I ask you something. Do you realize how stupid it is to laugh at me when I tell you things like that, right? Why are you crying now? Turn around and face the wall. I don't want to see your face. Are you going to keep making fun of me now? Good pet. You'll stay like that for a while until you understand that it's not okay to laugh at me. What? Make it short. You want me to keep talking about what now? 
in my dreams. Who talked about dreams? I don't really want to talk about this anymore. What? You mean... You thought about it too. Don't you want to get back to your old life and forget about me? About everything that happened to you here? Trust. Huh. Um. I have somewhere we could live. I think you'll like it. Keep facing the wall. You're still being punished. I didn't say it was over. So yeah. I think it could be good. It's a little isolated. So it'll be secure. Call. A peaceful little house for me and my good little puppy. Away from the bad guys from drama, from any media. If I want some action, I could go down to the city. There are a few bars and places I could go if I'm bored. We could go away on trips around the world too if we want to see something else before ultimately going back home. Maybe we could even... <clears throat> Never mind. So yeah, maybe that is my dream. I'm glad you like it too. Because you're in it. So you have no choice. <laughs> Fuck. Everything hurts. I think I'm going to try to sleep now. Come here. You know your place. Good pet. Wake me up before dinner's bell.